everybody, what's up? My name's Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. We are husband and wife, and we'd like to welcome you to Teradice. And today we're taking a look at Harmonies, designed by Johan Benvenuto. Yes, and we are here to tell you why Harmonies is the best game that we have played in 2024. And also the so most far. played game we have played in 2024. I think that is also <laughs> true. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, in one of the many play sessions where we showed this to all of our friends, being like, you gotta play Harmonies, you gotta try this, someone described it as Cascadia meets tiny towns yes. and I was thinking oh my gosh that is that is like the perfect that was description me for I it. think I described it that way oh did you yes oh this lovely lady right next to me <laughs> told me that it was Cascadia meets tiny towns mm -hmm. and everyone else went ah yes 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 I agree <laughs> quite mm, yes <laughs> because they were all such very well studied and uh, well read board gamers anyway so uh, the thing that we've heard said is like this is the Cascadia killer I don't know about that we played Cascadia I recently still love Cascadia. too and also love that but this is a totally different beast. It's a different kind of game. So yeah. first of all, on your turn, all you're going to do is take three tiles from the center from a single pod, kind of like that Azul is sort of drafting, but you take everything. And then you got to find a place to place them on your board. Now, they're the cutest little wood tiles. You're going to place them on your board, and then you may draft if you want one of these animal cards from this like uh, animal display that's up at the top. Now, you're trying to create the habitats for those animals. So it could be like two of one type of tile and then a third tile in a row. It could be some of them stacked. So we got this three-dimensional element of creating trees and bushes and <laughs> mountains. And yeah, so you might be doing like some different kind of stacking. But what's interesting is that if you ever satisfy the conditions of an animal's habitat, you get to put out these cubes from the animal card and that will slowly reveal more and more points. Once you've completely scored that card, you get to set it off to the side and fill that with another animal. Now you can be scoring up to four animals at once and you could have tons of cubes coming out. And what's really cool is that you could reuse tiles that don't have cubes on them to like stack higher and start to create different habitats. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I actually liked. I really love Calico, but this is that's a mechanic that exists in this that doesn't exist in Calico. Normally you can't borrow things that have already been used to create something else. Mm -hmm. This one, it made it really interesting that I would think about the things I can pull from the top that I want to bring in. I'd be like, okay, yeah. if I can make this, then oh, I'll be able to chain this one to this one and that one to that one, hoping that you're gathering yeah. the right pieces. But you always have to place the tiles that you grab. So it's again that like tiny towns thing where you have to place everything on your board. Yeah, and you start with short mountains, you score it, then you make them taller mountains next to a tree, you yes. score it. What's so, yeah. really interesting <laughs> is that the end condition, so how this game ends is when there's like two empty, one person has two empty hexes, which can be always differently timed because you can stack these tiles for like the mountains or the trees or mm -hmm. so some people could have really high boards and someone could stay super flat and in the game really fast <laughs> just grass so it's also about working yeah. at this pace with the rest of the group so that you can actually make sure you get those points that you were planning on getting. It's a really good point. When you blitz the low fields, you beat me in that game. Yeah, but I did, because you were like, I'm not done. Yeah, but in another game where we were all kind of watching, we all stayed high, and we actually ran out of tiles in the bag, yeah. which is the other end game condition. So. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So very interesting on the different chaining. It's just, I... I am such a like lover of tile placement games. I just find them so peaceful and the thematicness of this game is like very, um, I would say like super artsy as you're creating these scenes like like mm -hmm. on with these little like displays. Um, and speaking of art, the art in this game oh is one of the reasons that I think this is one of my favorite is my one of my favorite games yeah. this year. Um, I, every time I look at it, I'm like, I want a print of that. I want a print of that. Like, I just want to fill my whole home. <laughs> they have these with little like Harmony clip outs art. of the character, like the animals on their yeah. backgrounds look so incredible. It's just and the so box cover, it's just like a lion looks amazing. It's so yes. so unique, and it just looks really great. <laughs> yes, and there are two sides to the map to kind of change. I mean, to like how you can play, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. which has to do with the river. And there are some extra cards that you can play with as well, correct? Yes, there are. Uh, you basically have these like personal goal cards that you're playing for as well, mm -hmm. but that's the advanced variant. I would say just stick with the, the base game at first when you first yeah. start. Honestly, it's got so much to offer on both sides and so much fun. Yeah, the, what is also is like the timing of this game, um, which we talked about with another video I think came out earlier this week was Captain Flip. It's just, I like games that are, just have a good amount of time where to keep everyone's attention and that can teach a bunch of people. Like Jonathan taught it uh, last week to his uh, 
14 year old sister mm -hmm. and she loved it and stayed with it the whole game and so that was great to see yeah, yeah. I also taught it to another group of gamers while I was playing a different game I like walked over gave them That's the 30 true. second spiel came back like a couple minutes later they totally had it down so it's mm. such a quick teach which I just love yeah we like played this the first time we got it we played it twice in the first night and then we played it several nights in a row because mm -hmm. uh, it's just so good yeah. um yeah, so I know we're really positive and we are about lots of games because I always believe that games are for somebody, um, mm -hmm. uh, which I think that is, I still stand by that very true, but I love Harmony. Yeah. I think it's also because we choose to feature the games that we enjoy. I mean, this yeah. wasn't a review copy. We picked it up from the store. We bought it from our local game store. Mm -hmm. uh, we just like want to tell you about it because it's, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, that's why I tend to like, we don't get a lot of negative reviews because we like to play like to show games that we love yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so i do you have anything else to say about harmonies no i think it's just honestly pick this one up it, it's a crowd pleaser it's a permanent on our shelves for sure yeah, yeah i <laughs> i like it's like between cascadia i would rank it more with calico uh, yeah. yeah i i probably enjoy it the most out of all of those um mm. like out of everything behind us yeah i enjoy it the most yeah it didn't hurt my brain <laughs> as much as calico but it's like it's harder than cascadia mm -hmm. that is our overview of harmonies definitely one that you should be checking out and thank you guys so much for joining us if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know whenever we put out a new video and we'll see you next time happy, happy playing, playing.